I want to tell you the story about Mark Norman from Shamrock Plumbing. Now, Mark runs a full service plumbing, drain cleaning, water heater installation repair company based in Orlando, Florida. And when we started working with, with Mark a couple of years back, we're talking now going back uh, like 12 years, um, he was heavy in the yellow pages, right? This is where customers look when they needed plumbing services, when they needed HVAC services. And because it was the most direct channel, like it was where people looked right when they were ready to book a job to have a problem solved, it worked well, right? And if any of you guys have been in business long enough to, know, to, to remember when Yellow Pages was the play, give me a Yellow Pages in the comments, right? And it was pretty simple. The biggest companies bought the double truck ads. Those double truck ads generated lots and lots of sales and it was expensive, but there was enough lead flow because that's where people were looking. Um, and so for Mark, over the years, the Yellow Pages stopped being effective, right? People stopped looking in the Yellow Pages and he had to ask himself, where did the customers go, right? If they're not going to Yellow Pages, where are they going? And we know over the last 10 years and more, even more in the last couple of years, they shifted online, right? They shifted to Google, they shifted to Yahoo, they shifted to um, Angie's List and Thumbtack, right? They started going online to find his services, to find your services, right? And we know that statistically, 97% of your customers use the internet. Your prospects use the internet when they're looking for your services. And so that being the case, what he did and what you are doing is started to think about how do we own the internet in our area? How do we make sure that we're equivalent to the double truck of the old days? How do we make sure that when someone thinks plumbing or thinks drain cleaning or thinks AC installation repair thinks electrical services in your market, they think about you. And so Mark, thinking about his journey, tried a couple of things. Like when the yellow pages stopped working, the first thing he did was like, okay, if I want to show up on the internet, I need a website and I need, you know, I need to come up when people are looking. And so the first thing he tried was the yellow pages because the yellow page rep had sold him a double truck ad and he already had a relationship with those guys. They came in and said, hey, we can do internet stuff too, right? And we're going to set you up online. And so he wrote a nice little check. I think it was like 3,500 bucks okay. a month to Yellow Pages to go out and kind of get that going for him. And he gave, it, he gave it a little bit of time, but it just didn't perform. What he found was they did set up a website for him, but it was only showing up on yp.com. And it was very generic. Like it was shamrockplumbingfl.com, but it didn't have any personality, didn't have any authenticity. It wasn't built to convert visitors into leads. So it wasn't showing up where customers were looking and nobody would have called him probably anyways had they gotten there. And so his next foray was into paid search, right? And you know, think about the paid search opportunities. You got the big companies like Reach Local and Yodel and Scorpion. And they came in and they said, hey, look, we're going to get you a good website. We're going to get you showing up on Google. We're going to track your calls. You're going to know exactly how many calls you're getting. And he, he spent the money and this actually worked a lot better. This worked pretty well. He started to spend, you know, a thousand to five thousand dollars per month, kind of any given month. And he got leads, he got booked jobs, but it felt like it only very like very little return on investment. So if he spent five grand, he'd generate like six or seven thousand dollars in revenue. And by the time he paid his guys and by the time he covered the advertising, there wasn't much skin on the bone. Um, and like the issue with this strategy was. First of all, it was completely paid, focused. It was literally, let's just pay for Google ads. Let's just pay for local service ads. Let's pay to play. And that gets expensive. That gets hard to ROI. He wasn't tapping into any of the organic opportunities that were available in the market. The other thing was they were, they were driving traffic to the same site. So the same site that Yellow Page built, very generic, didn't really have a lot of authenticity, didn't give customers a reason to choose them versus the competition. And so he was back to the drawing board. He's like, okay, I need to get my online marketing right. Uh, I need to get better results. And so uh, we started working with him. And again, this, this goes back over almost a decade now. Uh, but what we did was we made sure two things were in place. First of all, we made sure that he was coming up in the organic listings in his service area when someone typed in plumber, plumbing, drain cleaning, water heater repair, all of those different keywords. And then we made sure that his website was built to convert, right? So they had all of the right conversion elements so somebody would choose him versus the competition. And so if you apply that to today's market, right? If you go to Google and we type in 
your city, right? Just think about your city and then think about your service, plumber, plumbing, drain cleaning, AC repair, electrical services. A couple things come up. We've got the local service ads at the top. We've got the map listings, which only three listings come up. And then we've got the organic listings. And I think we want to make sure we're showing up as often as possible where our customers are looking. And so that's what we did. We helped to make sure he was coming up as the dominant player. We set up the website in such a way that it had personality, it had authenticity, it made, it made the customers want to choose him versus the competition. And we're going to be talking about the specific things you can do on your website to improve that sense, to improve that conversion rate. We also made sure it started ranking in the organic listings, right? And by getting this done, he saw a massive increase in the amount of leads and the amount of sales he was able to generate for his business. And over time, as he was looking to grow, as he was looking to scale, we rolled out other components of what we call the digital dominance method, right? We started with organic, making sure he was coming up in the non-paid listings. Then we layered on paid search, Google ads, local service ads. Then we layered on retargeting, which is once someone gets to the site, let's make sure we're serving banner ads. Let's make sure we're showing up in their social feed because not everybody converts right at the moment when they get to their site. Uh, let's augment with some of these paid online directory listings. Like if house is coming up in your area or if Yelp is coming up when we type in your city plus your service, let's make sure we've got a listing there. Let's make sure that it's optimized. Let's make sure we drive some links and some citations and, and move that listing up so that you can own as much of that real estate when somebody's looking for your services. Uh, we started doing email marketing back to the customer base. We used paper lead sources like um, home advisor and networks to augment, to kind of fill in when there was downtime and there wasn't enough lead flow. Um, you know, there's a place for that. There is search volume happening in those. Um, and then we started looking towards the future, towards Facebook ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads to really build the brand and to build the awareness in the marketplace. And then number eight, we just made sure that we had a strategy to, to convert the one-time customer into a repeat customer. Right? So that they don't just think of us as their one-time service provider, but they know, like, trust us. They're hearing from us again and again. Maybe we drop a gift in the mail. And now they're going to remember us. They're going to use us again. They're going to refer us to their friends. They're going to post an online review about us. So this is the digital dominance myth. We'll be talking about this more and how it applies to your business here in a little bit. But I want to talk about the results. So um, Mark from Shamrock Dating back to 2017, he was spending about 1600 bucks a month in his marketing, um, generating about 230 leads per month. So about $6.97 per month on average. Uh, fast forward to 2018, you can see here about $3,000 spend, average of $6.04 per lead, uh, 497 leads. Fast forward to 2019, and this is monthly, $3,000 a month, 5, 000, uh, 586 leads per month. Um, 2021, and this was the last time I screenshotted this, I should pull up the 2022 version, um, over 818 leads tracked per month via the online marketing through the digital dominance method. And so over that span of time, that represents more than a tripling in the amount of leads and the amount of sales. So like I said, this isn't theory, but this is the experience that Mark had. This is the results that Mark experienced. And I'll share lots of examples. So some of you guys are HVAC, some of you are electrical, some of you are multiple trade, uh, but this is just an ex a specific example, a specific um, story I wanna walk you through. So what this meant for Mark was he was able to grow from a one-man operation doing about $200,000 in revenue back in 2011 to, to over $1.5 million and growing, expanding from one guy to seven guys. Um, and I'm sure if he had some of the other elements in place in terms of you know, how he's selling in the home, increasing his average ticket, this could be even greater. But most importantly, he's got confidence that he's got consistency and sustainability in his business. So what I want you to do is just think about what it would mean to you if you could triple the amount of leads, triple the amount of sales that you're generating for your home service business.